A reading from 1st Maccabees. Then Judas and his brothers began to be feared, and terror fell on the Gentiles all around them. His fame reached the king, and the Gentiles talked of the battles of Judas. When King Antiochus heard these reports, he was greatly angered, and he sent and gathered all the forces of his kingdom, a very strong army. He opened his coffers and gave a year's pay to his forces and ordered them to be ready for any need. Then he saw that the money in the treasury was exhausted and the revenues from the country were small because of the dissension and disaster that he had caused in the land by abolishing the laws that had existed from the earliest days. He feared that he might not have such funds as he had before for his expenses and for the gifts that he used to give more lavishly than preceding kings. He was greatly perplexed in mind. Then he determined to go to Persia and collect the revenues from those regions and raise a large fund. He left Lysias, a distinguished man, of royal lineage in charge of the king's affairs from the river Euphrates to the border of Egypt. Lysias was also to take care of his son Antiochus until he returned. And he turned over to Lysias half of his forces and the elephants and gave him orders about all that he wanted done. As for the residents of Judea and Jerusalem, Lysias was to send a force against them to wipe out and destroy the strength of Israel and the remnant of Jerusalem. He was to banish the memory of them from the place, settle aliens in all their territory, and distribute their land by lot. Then the king took the remaining half of his forces and left Antioch, his capital, in the 147th year. He crossed the Euphrates River and went through the upper provinces. Lysias chose Ptolemy, son of Dorimenus, and Nicanor, and Gorgias, able men among the friends of the king, and sent with them 40,000 infantry and 7,000 cavalry to go into the land of Judah and destroy it as the king had commanded. So they set out with their entire force, and when they arrived, they encamped near Emmaus in the plain. When the traders of the region heard what was said to them, they took silver and gold in immense amounts and fetters, and went to the camp to get the Israelites for slaves. And forces from Syria and the land of the Philistines joined with them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Make, Make a, a joyful, joyful noise to the earth, all the events. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter to his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are reading from the book of Revelations, chapter 18, The Fall of Babylon. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his splendor. He called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. It has become a dwelling place of demons, a haunt of every foul spirit, a haunt of every foul bird, a haunt of every foul and hateful beast. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth 
have grown rich from the power of her luxury. Then I heard a voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you do not take part in her sins, and so that you do not share in her plagues, for her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to, render to her as she herself has rendered, and repay her double for her deeds. Mix a double drought for her in the cup she mixed. As she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, so give her a like measure of torment and grief. Since in her heart she says, I rule as queen, I am no widow, and I will never see grief. Matthew 18, verse 14 to 20. And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to him and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly for often he falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked him and the demon came out of him and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not cast him out? He said to them, because of your little faith, for truly I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move and nothing will be impossible to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 